exploring what is quickly becoming one of our favourite cities in the world and we're going to go eat everything we possibly can. We've come up with a list of five things. Waffles, fries, some weird sandwich, chocolate and Belgian beer. First stop of the day is the Waffle Factory. Belgian waffles, but apparently at an affordable price and it wasn't too bad. We got two types, the Brussels waffle, which has got all the sweet stuff on top. We got strawberries and caramel flakes and Belgian chocolate sauce on it. it looks amazing. And then we've got the Liege waffle. So the Liege waffle was made because a prince of some area called Liege asked his cook to come up with a sweet pastry because he had a sweet tooth. This is what they came up with. It's normally in an oval shape and it has no toppings on top. Waffles are one of my favorite foods in the world. So I'm super excited about this. Good. It's really saccharine and sweet, but still like a perfect waffle, like nice and light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Those like crystallized sugar cubes in the middle add like this little crunch and a pop of massive sugar. So good. Strawberry and chocolate combo, really, really good on the waffle. I think leash is better. It's amazing because it's strawberries and chocolate. We just asked the lady downstairs what was the most popular and this is what we got. I can see why it's popular because it's super sweet but you have some strawberries so you feel like you're balancing it out a little bit. I kind of agree though, the liege takes the cake for me. This is amazing but it feels more like a dessert whereas the liege waffle is like a perfect balance of sweetness and pastry. were amazing definitely gonna get a leash waffle again and now on to the second thing fries So many chips. We have come to Freeland because we've heard it is the best chips in Brussels. They look really crispy and they give you a massive amount. And we have some samurai sauce because it kind of looks like chipotle mayo, which we love. It's so crispy and oily. I mean, it's just a really amazing potato chip. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> is that they're not actually french fries when the u.s came over for a war or something they sort of got confused because everyone speaks french here called them french fries but really they're belgian fries <laughs> he has a little outfit on today he kind of looks like he's dressed up as paddington bear just because of the colors of the outfit. I don't really know why there's sheep involved. <laughs> it's so cute though. It's very popular with students and I can already see why. It seems like something that would be really good after you drank a lot or before you drank a lot. <laughs> Picnic in the square with our beast of a sandwich. So it's called a mirrorlet and that literally translates to English as a submachine gun. Apparently it's because the baguette looks like a gun and the fries are the bullets. 
I don't know. It's a lot of food. We probably didn't pick the best place to eat this, but we're here now and it's probably going to take too much effort to move. So we're going to sit here and finish this. I have no idea how you're meant to eat this because it's massive. It's this toasted burger bun with a massive amount of sauce, two hamburger patties and like a family size serving of chips. <laughs> how are you meant to eat it? <laughs> Messy, but it's really good. We got one to share and we are tapping out in defeat because that is way too much food for one day. And we need to keep room for beers and chocolate. Tiny, you'd get at Christmas. Waste it. Plus, it's super expensive, and this was like two euro. It's really good chocolate. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Oh, it's like a bit powdery. More powdery than I thought it would be. It's like a melted chocolate ball, and then dusted in cocoa powder. It's messy, though. Am I finishing this? Uh, I can. <laughs> I can if you want me to. Belgium chocolate. Check. Beer time? recommended by a fellow that was sitting at the bar. Apparently it's 9%. Let's see what it's like. We were going to get the flight of 10 beers, but it was like 25 euro, so we came here instead. <laughs>